Assalamu alaikum, everyone. So I want to um, thank each of you for taking the time to come to the conference this year. We know that God rewards the strivers for doing any kind of work that, you know, we use to worship and glorify God. And I feel so honored to be surrounded by so many believing souls, especially over this past weekend. I mean, it's truly, you could feel the energy compared to, you know, um, other times that we've been at conferences, and it's such an honor, praise God. And, mashallah. <laughs> and um, we learn from the Quran that what unites each of us together is our unwavering devotion to God alone, right? All of us are here because we want to please God, we want to worship God, and we want to do nothing to ever, uh, ever you know, um, go against that. And um, Surah 2, verse 213 says, God guides those who believe to the truth that is disputed by all others in accordance with this will. God guides whoever wills in a straight path. And the footnote says, all worshipers of God alone from all religions are truly united. But by divine decree, the believers are part of one eternal family. And that's in Surah 49, verse 10. This means that whoever believes in God, believes in the hereafter, and leads a righteous life is our real family. This is not blind love. Our guide is the Quran. Look at all the different ages and generations in this room. We have grandparents, parents, uh, adults, um, adolescents, uh, children, and babies. All of them grew their souls by being here and glorifying God over this past weekend. And I love how the parents included their children in this experience and enjoined them to worship God. We know that if you enjoin your family to worship God as God commands us to do, God will do his part in making sure the children will be believers. We just have to do it our, on our end and God will do his part. Let us take the time to appreciate and thank God for giving us this past weekend full of soul growth. Without God, none of this would have been possible. And he is the one who grants us these opportunities uh, to, for us to feed our souls, the real person, as a gift. God gives us these opportunities as a gift because he knows that we want to please him. And so when we have these opportunities, this is a gift from God. I pray for all of us to remain guided on the right path and for God to direct us to do righteous works that are pleasing to him. As stated by Solomon in Surah 27, verse 19, my Lord, direct me to be appreciative of the blessings you have bestowed upon me and my parents and to do the righteous works that please you. Admit me by your mercy into the company of your righteous servants. I would like to clarify that this is not San Jose's conference. This is not the Bay Area's conference. This conference belongs to every believer to God alone. Masha. Masha. So on that note, feel free to give back any feedback for what you liked and what you think should be improved because it is your conference. And um, if you'd like to participate in the organization for next year, please let us know, um, which I would love to see all of you at again, God willing. Um, and in general, I, I want to know what you guys thought about this venue. If, you know, for example, next year, if we want to do a, another location like in Southern California, Northern California, or keep it here. Um, <laughs> I see Ali Alga back there. Um, Sacramento. <laughs> okay. And then um, right now we're going to do our prayer, I believe. Um, and then after that, we want to do. Yeah, I know. So right now we want to do our uh, prayer, God willing, and then we're going to do some great group photos. We have to be out of this conference room, like Ali said. Um, so we want to go, I think, after the prayer up on the lawn in front of the venue. That would be a really, really nice picture. Um, but we just have to all make sure that we go at the same time because it is hot and let's not stay up there too long. Um, and then pizza is going to be at 2 o'clock, I believe, in the park across from the venue. And then uh, just a reminder to everyone, uh, tonight is our Sunday Quran study at the Masjid in San Jose from 6 to 9 o'clock. All of you are invited. I hope to see you all there, inshallah. And um, lastly, uh, thank you and God bless my believing family for being here. I'd like to end uh, this with an al fatah to thank God the Almighty for um, allowing us to have an amazing time with the believers. Thank you, mashallah. al fatah Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillah. Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Maliki Yawmidin Iyai Kan Na'budu Wa Iyai Kan Nasta'in 
اهدنا سراط المستقيم سراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير ما فيه عليهم ولا طالي. And one last thing, uh, Arash found out I was giving the clo closing remarks, and he said, "Please give me one of your minutes, please. I want to just say something." So Arash, come say whatever you want to say. One minute. Arash is my husband for those who don't, everyone knows. Wait, wait, wait. You guys really didn't think that I wasn't going to come on this stage at least at one point at the conference. Um, just real quick, one minute. I uh, just want to say the tremendous um, energy that I think we all felt over this um, past weekend was um, just out of this ballpark. I mean, Truly, I haven't felt like this for a very long time. The energy, the atmosphere, the speeches, truly you can, just how there's gravity, guys, we're sitting down and, you know, you know, you don't see it, but you know it's there. Um, but you lift your feet up and the other one's grounded to the floor. It's the same thing. You feel the energy within the rooms of... <clears throat> True believers. Uh, true believers are a rare commodity. Um, and we need to be, I mean, this deserves a lot of congratulations to every single um, one of us that devote ourselves to God alone because truly, um, true believers are a rare breed. Um, so we have no idea how blessed we are. Um, so, God bless you all. It was a pleasure. And please give a round of applause for everyone that helped make this happen by God's leave. Ali and everyone else, you know who you are, the tech team. I have to go on the camera. Like, let's give a round of applause to all the people that made this happen. Thank God.